Hello guys, welcome back on my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to create this uh, stunning uh, animated invitation card in a Canva. But before we dive into the tutorial, I have a quick favor to ask. If you like my content and find it valuable, please take a moment to hit the small like button and subscribe to my channel. Is it really helps to keep getting content for you? Thanks, and now let's get started. So just closing this page, I'm jumping to the next. Uh, this is an empty video Canva, mobile video uh, size. So the first thing, I need the envelope. Go into the elements, searching for open envelope. Go into the photos, and i choosing this. Open yellow envelope on gray background. I just add it to my design. And first thing first, just removing the background. And just moving to the top left corner because I don't really need this uh, envelope after it, uh, if I remove four parts. So now I go into the apps and searching for the application called Choppy Crop. This is the application. I open it. And we just need to select the element what we would like to chop it, actually. And now, holding the control button and with the, with the mouse, I just zooming my screen. And now, I just need to select what I would like to to crop and just selecting the squares of the envelope like this this is not good I made uh, something wrong here I can I don't know why this tag is not good. I have to this point. Okay, starting with this point in this case. And now yes. Just realize better to start with a closer elements and add to design. Now I have to change the zoom level back to normal. I select again the, the element. And now I just think where you start, start here. And to the first, add to design, changing the zoom level again. Yeah, okay, both elements are here, good. And I have to do it again. And now I just need the main part of the envelope, like starting here, because they are. Might be closer one. I just realize better to start with this shorter distance. Yeah, I can change the zoom level back to the normal. Start to design. Super. And now I can delete the. original envelope and now I just need to need to build my envelope again so just changing the color see all and this like pink also for the top
like this yeah i just realized i made a mistake with this uh, cropping this uh, middle one but now i just moved a bit down so i have the envelope and now we just have to add the invitation card you can create your own invitation card in a canva or anything else and i already uploaded one i just use one canva template changing the size to fit the envelope might be still too big like this yes I'm going to the position layers and moving behind the main part of the yeah the envelope sorry just time to time is just thinking what i'm doing so i just increase the size a bit moving down so right click duplicate page we are selecting the any of the elements Sele going to the positions layer and selecting the invitation card and just moving up i took this and now I right click again duplicate and now selecting all three pages together of the envelope moving down but one more one important thing all the small portions of the envelope has to be visible uh, visible on the page otherwise this uh, part will be disappearing and uh, the part we still exist will be moving which is not so nice when uh, the bottom part of the envelope is just uh, disappearing and uh, meanwhile the top is moving down so we're just increasing the size of the envelope like this and now moving my mouse between two pages add transition our favorite match and move increasing the size to two seconds scrolling down apply between all pages and as you can see the first uh, and the last page is four seconds and uh, the middle one is three because the original was five or no, all three but uh, we crop them with a transition and from the first page only the last one second was merged and the last one only the first one second was merged and for the middle one here you can see the first one second was in the transition and and the last second the last one second was also going to the transition and actually during the transition both page are visible it's overlapping each other and this is why it was uh, merge like this so i go into the first page selecting the three second or the four seconds and just typing three apply to all three pages now all three pages are three seconds and when i'm moving the timeline you can see this nicely moving out and here the envelope is moving down meanwhile the birthday card is also moving down and increasing the size And in the original video, I also use some sparkling effects. We can also add it, go into the elements, type sparkling graphics, go into the filters, and select on the animated ones. And scrolling down, scrolling down. Which one I used? I think I used this one. So I just. Uh, reduce the size a bit meanwhile zooming so this one i made a duplicate to here just a bit down duplicate again moving to the bottom part duplicate again moving to the bit right like to here and now it's okay now we just only two steps left because if i show what we are doing so now the card is moving up 
increasing but as you can see the sparklings already there so we have to change the timings of the sparklings so first i just increasing the timeline sorry like okay now the Canva doesn't want to do what I want. Oh, sorry, if I have to do it here. Ah, okay. Hi, okay, I was on the wrong page. So, zoom thumbnail. So, I'm just zooming the thumbnail. And here, so position, I'm selecting all four uh, Sparkling effect zooming the timeline or just increasing the top of the timeline and as you can see moving the mouse between the two with the two elements the two pages you can see where the transition is finished but i think this will be yeah when i'm moving the timeline you can see the the card is still moving 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 and now it stop to move like here this is still inside way inside the transition just moving a bit further and now just moving the sparkling effect to that uh, point of the time to do here in this case the sparkling starts here when, uh, when the uh, the invitation card is already moved on with a uh, increased size. And now, one more also important thing: I have to move the sparkling effects under the the invitation card because it looks much better if it's uh, sparkling behind the card. So now we can see what we did. So. Uh, moving up moving down zoom and the sparkling starts just exactly on a second when uh, the card is arrived to the proper position so that's really good job but now this tutorial is going to the end hope so you like it if you really like it please do not forget to hit the small like button subscribe to my channel Leave comment in the comment section if you miss anything in a tutorial or if I miss anything in a tutorial and forgot to mention something or you're struggling anything in a Canva and I try to answer as soon as possible. Please also visit my Facebook page. You can find the link in the description where you can find uh, tons of Canva tutorials, not only from me, also from another great uh, Canva experts. Plus you can find a bunch of text to image prompts for image generation for different kind of uh, AI tools. So if you're also interested in this area, please feel free to check my Facebook page. As I mentioned already, you can find a link in the description. In the description, you can find also the link of my Instagram and TikTok page where you can find uh, lots of uh, short Canva tutorials I uploading uh, these short tutorials on a daily basis to my Instagram and uh, TikTok channel. As I mentioned already, you can find them also in the description. But now, this tutorial is going to the end. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Ciao.